Find even more drawing tips inside the pages of the Phoenix comic, along with great stories and more. As always, we start with the basic building blocks. In the case of the arm, we're looking at three interconnected ovals. A small oval at the top, and then two longer ovals for the upper and lower parts of the arm. To draw muscles and make them look realistic, understanding the basic anatomy of the arm is a must, and so we need to break down our basic building blocks a little further. The arm is made up of four main muscle groups. The deltoid, the tricep, the bicep, and the lower arm. The lower arm muscles all flow down from the deltoid. First, we draw the deltoid, which is the shape at the top of the arm that connects it to the body. Then, we draw in this long muscle all the way from the base of the deltoid right down to the wrist. Next, we draw in the tricep, which is the large muscle on the back of the upper arm. It's all very similar when drawing the arm from the side, although now we see the elbow too, and then the bicep, the large muscle on the front of the arm. The anatomy of the back of the arm is a little different. It's worth thinking about how it all connects to the shoulder muscles, which is why I've drawn this in here. We see the tricep face on, but we can't see the bicep. The elbow kind of slots into the bottom of the tricep here, right in the middle. That little curved line on the inside of the arm there is that long muscle that runs down the length of the arm. You don't need to worry about the names of the muscles on the lower arm. Really, we're just fleshing out the lower arm from the basic building blocks. So now we have a more detailed set of guides from which to do our final drawing. I tend not to draw lots of muscles on my arms, and instead just add small bits of definition to hint at the underlying muscle structure. We start by defining the outer edges of the arm. We then add a small bit of line detail to the long muscle that runs between the tricep and the bicep, a little mark on the inner edge of the elbow, a few lines around the shoulder blade, and some detailing around the base of the deltoid. And that's it! You can change the level of definition depending on how muscly you want your character's arms to be. If you want to draw a slender arm with no real muscles to speak of, then just draw the basic outline and leave out the tiny bits of definition. If you want to draw a super muscly arm, then firstly you need to bulk out the basic shape of your building blocks. Add in the basic muscles, and in this case add more definition to them. The key to making these small marks so effective is understanding the anatomy underneath, so it's not a series of randomly placed bits of detail. Knowing how the muscles connect to one another can really help your figure drawing. For more how to draw tutorials, make sure you like this video, and then subscribe to our channel. You can also find even more drawing tips inside the pages of the Phoenix comic, along with great stories and more. Click the link in the description below to find out how you can get the Phoenix delivered straight to your door every week.